y'all welcome back so i've been getting a few packages in the mail finally i have been waiting for this stuff for like weeks some of the stuff i bought on my birthday or like the week before my birthday uh so it's it's been a while my birthday is august 20th and then there's some stuff i bought at the stores here so i've been working on some happy mail slowly but i'm glad my dyes are in maybe that will inspire me to get going um, I got this little bow die, and um, all these dies are from here. <laughs> I can't remember the name, but they had a great, great sale. I want to say it was like 60% off their dies, so I jumped on that. And the shipping was fairly cheap, and they are here in the States. So it's not like I'm ordering from China, it's going to take forever to get here. So I think this uh, took about two weeks. Or so then I got this star die I just need a star die and also because of the faux stitching called the different kind of sizes there and then I got this they don't have the names on them it kind of reminds me of the comics have these little bubble shapes for like pow that's not what I'm using for but that's what it reminds me of and then I got this so each one was 60% off so something like this was like original price nine bucks and I think I got it for four dollars which is really really good look how big this is and this is to make a mini album and I think you're supposed to make like a shaker pocket with that so that would be real sweet then I got this little little small gift box die and I saw the polka dot pine cone she was opening up some happy mail and the sender sent it in this little small gift box and I think this is the same one then I got this banner this is good for tag flips and um actually i want to make a banner so i'll probably be using this one and then i got a flower die i have been wanting a flower die since i started crafting like with felt with different glitter foam things like that and look at all the different kinds of flowers so i'll be doing this today actually i'm gonna make some flowers now what i got from one paper place it's all just one collection i'm pretty sure if you ordered from her, if you've been listening to the episodes on the podcast, Paper Talk, you'll know about One Paper Place. And she had a sale going on. And I bought the Fantastico Collection. Yay! Look at this pretty poem. How cute. I waited a very long time for this. More than like scrapbook.com or so. But that is not something bad on her end we, we were communicating and she just said uh, american crafts was just slowly trickling things uh something like that the cardstock stickers the six by twelve cardstock stickers and they're not here but she will send those later so you know that's not her fault especially with all that's been happening last year and it's still kind of going on this year i don't try to give small businesses that hard of a time because <laughs> i used to have an etsy store and you just can't control what the post does and also my sister has a small shop and there are stories you know people are just so not understanding <laughs> anyway okay so i got the ephemera how fun right a girl in a sweater crafts go check it out she's got a live that's still on her instagram i think and you can check all the little stuff in detail and i just love Love, 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 love these little alphas so there's two sheets so that's cool so this one and another one 288 pieces yes there's plenty i am actually not a fan of circular alphas i just get stuck creatively with them but for some reason not these i think maybe because they're small and they have like a typewriter feel to them look at how delicious these are and these are fun these remind me of like um, a state fair or carnival which i think that's what it was supposed to be based on the fairs that he has over there in spain which is so cool the foam que dulce caramelos okay so <laughs> i have a friend she's from ecuador and she calls candy in general caramelos and me my mom taught me spanish and caramelo is caramel or caramel you know depending on how you say it but you know what i mean those little brown candies so when she kept saying get us some caramelo i thought she was gonna hand me a soft chewy caramel no she she would just hand me a candy <laughs> and i was like oh so um yeah interesting tangent yeah like this is another word i'm not really familiar with dulzura yeah yeah 
but I mean, it's still Spanish. <laughs> it's so pretty. I like this. I actually do like this. Some people would say that's kind of hard to read, but I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, I like that design. Anyway, okay. <gasps> the puppies! I did not get to get all of these from his first collection, so I jumped on this for sure. And then look how pretty. Yes. So happy. So if you're not getting the fall vibes where you live, it's just, ooh, this is my favorite, favorite. I saw them and now I just can't get the picture out of my head. Those cookies that my mom used to buy at the Mexican supermarket, they're still there if you go. Um, and, and they don't have the filling. I didn't see that in a flip through. I was just seeing the top flat part of it. They remind me of those cookies and they have sprinkles on them. Oh my gosh, with a little cafecito. So good. <laughs> Anyways, so yes. So okay, this is what I mean. Like she would give me a caramelo, and I thought she meant this. This caramel. It could be chewy or hard, but she would just give me whatever candy. I don't know. I don't know if that was just her or what, but Ooh. so fun. I love that polka dot. Look at that. Mi semana, my week. <laughs> yeah, that's fussy cutting here. <laughs> and then here is the chipboard. And I'm going to tell you already, it is not glossy, which is how chipboard usually is. It's It's got this glossy finish to it. And this is not glossy. It's um, matte. Interesting. Yeah. And then I got the big old gigantic paper pad. I'm a paper pad girl. I rarely buy double-sided papers. Unless I really like a paper, then I'll buy more. And I'll buy the single double-sided paper. But, um, ooh, this one. Um, but usually I will get the paper pad. Ooh, ooh I like that. No foil? Yeah, no foil on this one. Usually a project pad. I don't think this comes with a project pad, but usually a project pad will have all that. <gasps> Look. Helados, churros, bebidas. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so, so fun. Look how fun that is. Just look how fun and happy that is. Oh my gosh, how could you not fussy cut this? My goodness! So fun! Oh, brunch. Well, I mean, I guess here in the States it would be brunch, but it's very common that after dinner, maybe an hour after dinner, you get your pan dulce and your little cup of coffee, you know, your cafecito with the pan dulce, and you kind of snack around on that. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's what I got. Oh my goodness, I'm so, so glad that I waited it out because I thought, well, maybe I should just ask her for a refund um, if she's unsure herself. But I stuck it out and I'm so happy I did. I think I would have been very sad if I missed out on this collection. So I went to Michael's. I had still some birthday money. And usually when I have birthday money, I will buy the stuff that... It's fun, and that I've been wanting for a while. Now, I have been wanting some more stickles. I'm really liking them right now. I'm using them, and I know this is old school news, and when they first were popular, I was like, oh, it's just glitter glue, but it's just not the same. So I needed not gold gold. I needed like a bronze and a rose gold. Um, I've never done liquid pearls, so that'll be fun to try, but I really like these colors, and I only see them sold at Michael's. It was buy one, get another 50% off. So then I got these mini ink blending tools. So it was like anything Ranger, I think, was buy one, get one 50% off. So I got that because um, I did not know that this was more so for alcohol inks, the felt 
was for alcohol inks and the sponge was for regular inks. I did not know that. And then I got the foil cardstock paper and an iridescent because it was for four dollars. And they don't have this at Hobby Lobby. If not, I would have gone to Hobby Lobby because usually they'll have 50% off or something. But I got it and it was yeah, four dollars, three ninety nine. And then I went over to Hobby Lobby. And didn't find the cinch. I think maybe someone already took it. I picked up other things with my birthday card and I finally used it all up. <laughs> there was quite a bit on there. I went there like three or four times and I finally used it all up. I picked up these 3D dimensional stickers. I have this collection. I did not know that they came with the 3D ones and I just think it's so, so pretty actually. I wish the papers were thicker. Um, but I do like the patterns and the colors and yeah, how could you not look at that mini glue gun? Like, that is so cute. And then I picked up the Campus Life and um, I just like the colors of these for school in general. Like I could totally uh, put a sticker over that or something, just use it in a different way sometimes. But I just like it because this is kind of the vibe that my daughter's school is. It's not very traditional in both the learning approach and the way it is. It's very open, you know. Uh, anyways, I like these colors <laughs> to document her school day. <laughs> okay, and then I saw this and I'm, I'm kind of done with the happy planner right now, but I think I'm gonna like cut this up and make it my own in my planner and even if I don't and I go back to the happy planner it was only two seventy four. okay original price ten ninety nine, and this is the homeschool edition and really I wanted to just really go through it and see the subjects and just all the um categories and things um because I am homeschooling my girl kitty bird did I tell you all that yeah mm-hmm it's been fun. <laughs> and then I always, always, always buy a album with a birthday gift card. I will always, always invest in an album. And this is beautiful. I haven't seen this before. I don't know if this is new or what. But this is so Rifle and Paper Co. Or is it just Rifle Paper Co.? Or my mind's eye. It's so, so pretty. And I think this is going to be 2021. Yeah, let's just stare at it. So pretty. So anyways, it was 50% off. $24.99. That's all I have. It's a pretty, pretty lengthy haul. I have some exciting news. I've been kind of working on it and nervous to announce it and share it. But I'm just going to pull the trigger and... Go through with it <laughs> and then of course some happy mail project share is coming your way as well